Kamum has made many products bearing the cultural identity of the Choma people as she has been attached to the craft since a young age. The colors, lines, or flowers on each brocade item express the habits, customs, and daily life of her people in the Central Highlands. Brocade weaving has long been associated with daily life of Vietnam's ethnic groups. Each brocade product has its own culture and undergoes many stages that require meticulousness and skill from the weavers, who are women. Within the Vietnam Brocade Cultural Festival, brocade items from 54 ethnic minority groups in 14 provinces were displayed and introduced to visitors. The colors are very real and natural. I think brocade weaving products should be turned into tourism products, and Vietnam grows as a tourism destination. In order to preserve and promote the value of ethnic brocade, a number of localities have introduced lending policies and held vocational classes. The greatest difficulty, however, is that many products do not have stable output and only serve tourism purposes. The most difficult thing is product output, as there are no wholesales. Products are only made based on the customer order. We encourage people from different ethnic minority groups to maintain and preserve the craft for the younger generation, and especially to teach them how to weave brocade. Retaining traditional brocade weaving not only preserves ethnic cultural values but also contributes to local socioeconomic development to preserve and promote the cultural and economic value of Vietnamese brocade weaving is necessary to have more supportive policies regarding market and product promotion.